The Reds believe they have a very impressive youngster on the mound in left-hander Brandon Finnegan. Speaking of blowing, blew a fastball right by Hernandez, and that's good morning, good afternoon, and good night. And he just goes right up the strike zone three times in a row and blows him away. Finnegan a big deep breath and turns it loose, and it's a swing and a miss to end the inning. Cloudy skies above. Struck him out swinging. A 1-2-3 inning for Finnegan. I mean, he gets the ball, and he is ready to go. Strike three called a breaking ball that tickles the outside corner. And I think some of the things that Cueto did, this young pitching staff here with the Reds are going to do the same thing. Foul tipped into the mid of Mesoraco and a 1 2 3 fourth on six pitches for Mr. Finnegan. Boy, does he look good tonight. And I only bring that up because we saw such a small sample size, if you will, of Finnegan last year, pitching six games. Four is a starter. And man, he is dealing tonight. Seven strikeouts through the front five. And a bouncing ball back up the middle. And how about that? A 10 pitch at bat capped off with a base hit by Brandon Finnegan, his first major league hit. Congratulations, young man. He earned that one. Well, you're not kidding about that. That may be one of the best first hits by a pitcher I've ever seen. The only way to make it better is if he would get it in a Reds win. They're going to roll that ball into the dugout. It's been in the forecast all day and all night. A forecast which has changed regularly as Hernandez strikes out for the third straight time in the game. I mean, at one point in time, they were saying a 100% chance of rain starting at 7 o'clock. And yet here we are, and at 8.30, we're really getting our first look at any kind of rain. Gone swinging. Galvis had his nine strikeouts tonight for Brandon Finnegan. I mean, he's just playing good old fashioned country river fastball right here. I mean, he just roaring it in there, and they're just hacking and coming up empty.